Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. And today's day six of our indoor grow for the deep water culture system for the cucumber plant. You can see over here that it's putting on some more tendrils and it's actually grabbing onto the, the metal trellis right behind it. Now you could see that the tendrils are beginning to kind of loop around and it's getting nice and tight. And it's really gripping onto the, the metal trellis here. So when I lift up the plant over here, you could see that it's beginning, the leaves are getting much larger as well as the flowers are beginning to, to form. And you can see one of the flowers is getting ready to bloom. Now, right now it's Saturday night and I'm recording this right now. So you see the, look at this beautiful, beautiful looking flower. And I know when it looks like this, basically the next morning, usually it, it opens up. Now looking around on the inside, you can see it's basically loaded with side shoots that are beginning to form. And flowers all over the place as well. You can see it's pretty much packed in. Uh, basically everywhere I look I see flowers or or new 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 shoots that are basically going to be growing which will be basically packed in with flowers as well and this is a self-pollinating cucumber plant so I see nothing but female flowers on the inside here which is absolutely fantastic and I couldn't ask for anything more so just kind of look around at the plant here look, take a nice little close-up look of it and let's take a look at what the root system looks like guys let's see what everything looks like Hey guys, welcome back. It's Sunday morning and looking at the plant, it's having a little bit of a change. You could see that the tendrils are a little bit more gripping onto the trellis in the back. And when I lift up the, the lower leaves over here, that first flower that I showed you guys has finally blossomed. And look at this beautiful looking yellow flower in front of you. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really in awe with it. And look at this guys, it's finally starting to look like a miniature little cuke right now. And I'm super excited for ran it ran off for it to germinate and not germinate pollinate I mean and start growing and beginning to produce some fruits so looking at the uh, tendrils you see right now that it's beginning to loop around like I mentioned earlier it's getting nice and tight and the plant is finally you know kind of training itself how I want and let's look at the root system right now to see if there's any difference from overnight So this deep water culture system is doing really well. That air stone that's down there at the bottom is really pumping up a lot of oxygen and a lot of water back up at the roots and keeping everything nice and healthy. And you see the flower here is looking absolutely beautiful, guys. Let me zoom you in a little bit. You can see, I don't know if, it, if it's a self-pollinating plant. It kind of looks just like a female flower cucumber to me. It doesn't look any different, the self-pollinating one. However, looking around, I noticed there are no male flowers right now being produced. It seems like every flower that's forming, there's um, a fruit behind it. So that's a clear indication of a female flower. And you could see just in this shot, look, there's like one right here, two, three, four, five, six back there. Um, and there's a seventh one here. Let's see if there's any more. Got I think right there at the bottom there is about eight. So it looks like a pretty it's pretty loaded guys with, with some flowers right now. I gotta say I'm super happy about that. So it's definitely producing for me way more than it did in the past. I asked to do probably with the new light system and the new home and you know the whole new environment. I do have a, a circulating fan that I have going also all day long as well. And I never mentioned earlier, but I do keep the the air pump on all night long, or actually all day long and all night. So although I turn the lights off, I don't turn off the air pump, I keep that going. This way there's constant um, oxygen being pumped to the roots. And looking at the plant right now guys, it looks really beautiful. And the maxi grow seems to be doing really well for me. You could see that the leaves are looking just really gorgeous, deep, 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 uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like a deep green color right now and it's looking really healthy. I don't see any signs of... Um, Thank God of any aph aphids or spider mites or any infestation of, uh, of that nature. I, the only thing I do notice is the very old leaves are looking a little bit weird right now. And 
you can see something happened with the camera right there, excuse that. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, the plant is looking beautiful, guys, nonetheless. You can see that it's looking nice and healthy, and uh, I gotta double check just how old the plant is right now. It has to be a, at least over a month old, probably by now. And you can see just how many side shoots are beginning to form. Look, there's one here, one there. There's another one there, right there at the bottom. And I could count probably at least, I think maybe four or five side shoots that are that are kind of going off on their own right now. And I'm going to kind of make sure everything is being trained in the proper direction that I want. So if you liked the episode, guys, you know, please, as always, don't forget to hit thumbs up. We're going to be back soon for more for more updates. And as always, thanks for watching.